rester attaché jusqu'à l'extinction du signal correspondant. Page, merci beaucoup et au revoir. I just showered and put on a little face mask and moisturized my whole body. I'm feeling so dry after traveling, but Tommy and I had breakfast and then he just left for practice. I'm just gonna like chill for a second. Um, I was gonna go with him to practice, but I'm feeling a little tired and I wanna unpack my stuff. The hotel we're staying at is so cute. I'm gonna go like lay down for a second and maybe like read some of my book and then unpack. very dark right now. Like I'm actually really tan. Makeup doesn't sit as well on my skin when I'm really tan. And I've come to the conclusion that it's because my skin is dry. So prepping my skin, especially before I'm gonna be sitting in the sun all day is super important. The Swiss Perfection Cellular Perfect Serum. It is so good. I actually got it on a skiing trip while I was in Switzerland. I feel like I need to use a really hydrating foundation. I can't decide what to use. I feel like I should use this Makeup by Mario foundation. Last night I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and it just like didn't sit right on my skin. I think it's because my skin is so tan. And on the drier side. So we're gonna try this. This might be too light right now for, for my skin. I'm honestly not gonna use that much foundation today. So. Yeah, I'm at the French Open, also known as Rolling Garros. My boyfriend is playing at a tennis tournament here. I actually didn't come to Tommy's first match. I had a lot going on at home if you watched my last 
vlog you would know. Um, the barn and then, then I actually had a denim sample that I had to approve, the full sample. And I actually brought it with me. So maybe you guys will see it in this vlog. Okay, I wanna show you guys my very excessive contour routine. It's kind of insane, but I do feel like it makes a huge difference. First, I'm gonna go in with Baked by Milk Cosmetics. Now, all of these serve different purposes with different undertones. So I think a mistake a lot of people make with makeup is that sometimes products like this are bronzers, not for contour. What I mean by that is some are just really warm and will like brighten and bronze up your face, but won't necessarily create shadow on your face. So that's why I start off with this. And it is this sort of grayish sort of shade. And it's a really good way to start your contour. So I will just start off with this. And now if you've watched any of my makeup routines, you know that I think contour and bronzer are like the most important parts of a makeup routine. I think that's what brings light dimension and just makes your skin look more healthy. And then for my jawline, I actually use this, this flat Morphe brush. I really like these flat brushes. Okay, the first layer is down. Next, I'm going to deepen up my cheek contour, this Milk Cosmetics in Blaze. It is slightly warmer, still a cooler tone. And I'm actually gonna drag this down like that, which looks a little crazy right now. And then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Contour Wand. So the reason I don't use this really anymore on my cheekbones is because it does have like a kind of glitter shimmer in it. And I really like my contour area to be pretty matte. Um, I'm gonna warm up the apples of my cheeks, but I found my makeup has turned out way better when I stick to putting the Charlotte Tilbury only on my forehead area. Also doing contour before concealer. And I forget sometimes to do it in that order, but every time I do it in that order, I'm like, this looks so much better. I literally don't have concealer on right now. I feel like I don't even need it. I'm gonna add it, but, cause I do like a really bright under eye, but for some reason, when you add contour and dimension to your face with bronzers, like your under eyes lighten up. So then to warm up my cheekbones just a little bit, I'm gonna use the Clinique Chubby Stick, just like a little bit. So once I have a foundation base on and I have a few products on, I will not draw on my face because I do feel like it picks up product. Okay guys, that is all for contour for now until I add like a little bit of a powder. Contour just to set my face. Next, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I'm very lucky to have very full eyebrows, but I do fill them in just a little bit, just to even them out. Guys, in my last vlog, I was talking about how I felt this sort of pressure at one point in Rome, to, like go do things um, just for the vlog. And I was talking about how I felt like that was like a bit inauthentic. I don't know, it just feels like a little bit phony to be vlogging for you guys and showing you guys my life, but then like doing shit that I wouldn't do if I wasn't vlogging. Like I really want to avoid doing that. And I do want to show you guys places around the world and I do travel a lot. Um, so yeah, I definitely like want to show you guys the places that I am lucky enough to go see. But in my vlog, I was like, guys, this is just like unrealistic. I am literally just here to support my boyfriend playing tennis. And, and if I was not dating him, I would not be traveling to Europe this often or doing any of this traveling. I do obviously like traveling sometimes and parts of it, but, but like I said, I do like home a lot better. I'm really just here to support Tommy and I am working a lot while I'm on the road and sometimes I just don't want to go run around. I'm not like that much of a city person. I love food. Otherwise cities like, you know? Anyways, I got some really funny comments from you guys. <laughs> exactly what I meant. I was literally cracking up and it just makes me feel so good because you guys just get it. Like you guys really just get it, but yeah. I think in general, I enjoy my vlogs most when they just feel natural. So I'm just gonna continue to do that. So I added a concealer that matched my foundation shade first and now I'm just going in 
with a lighter shade to just bring more light to my face. And I actually kind of like dab the concealer over my lips, but I feel like my lip liner actually stays on longer if I put a little bit of product down. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly recontour my nose. And I'm actually gonna leave this for a second and let it kind of dry down. Now I'm gonna do a layer of setting spray before I move forward. Any other products? I'm the biggest MAC fan. Whenever I see a MAC store, I have to go in. Even when I see one at the airport, like I will go and just look through all the products. But one time when I was living in New York, I actually became friends with one of the sales associates and makeup artists that worked at MAC. And I said to her, I was like, listen, I'm sorry. There's no way that setting spray does anything. I feel like it's just like a hydrating mist. Like, I love the Max Fix Plus. Been using her as long as I've been doing makeup, but like feels really nice, refreshing, but there's no way it like does anything. And she was like, no, actually Fix Plus is one of the few setting sprays that actually, it basically leaves a layer over your skin that like helps your makeup combined smoothly. So that's why if you love the MAC Fix Plus more than other setting sprays, which I do, it's because it actually has science behind it. So that's cool. Okay. We're not gonna talk about the chunks of glass that are in my palette. I cleaned out the colors that I use. And so I'm gonna have to be throwing this out after this trip, but we're gonna make it work. So now I'm just gonna add like a little bit of lightness before I start to set my makeup and do my eyeliner. I'm gonna set my makeup today with the L'Oreal setting powder that I use in a bunch of my videos. I used the Laura Mercier the other day. It dried the fuck out of my skin. Okay, before I do eyes or anything else, I'm just gonna quickly set my brows with the Benefit 24 hour setting. Stuff. I strayed away from this stuff for a second. Don't know why I think because I get sent so many products, but I like this the best. Okay, next I'm just gonna set my bronzer with a little bit of the Hoola bronzer. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna do a ton of blush today. So I'm using this Dior in Coral. Like a lot. Okay, don't forget the nose. That's good for now. I'll probably put on more before I leave, but before I do my eyes, I'm gonna put some lip stain on my lips. This is a new lip marker stain thing I got off Amazon. I'm gonna link everything for you guys. So this is like the perfect pink stain. And I am gonna use the Benefit stain over this, but they're different colors. So I love mixing colors. And when I'm outside all day and in the sun all day, lip stains are the best. I'm gonna let that sit before I finish my lips. Okay, I'm gonna do my waterline, which is the hardest part. So the reason I do my waterline is because it allows you to wear less eyeliner and have more of like a cat eye look without adding like so much eyeliner. So I'm just gonna like messy put a little bit of product on that side. And I actually do my eyes at the same time. I feel like they end up looking more symmetrical that way. Okay, that is the first step. And then you're just gonna take an angled brush, but I'm just gonna bring that out. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Why I like doing this step at the same time, a lot of people would like complete one eye and move to the next. It's Cause I feel like I can kind of look straight on in the mirror and adjust this first step 
as I'm going. Okay, next I actually go in with this Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Smoky Quartz. I think putting the black down first and then going in with this adds like a really nice color. I also love grays on blue eyes. So I'm just gonna go over that line that I already made. Like that, and then skip the middle of my eye and just do my inner eyelid like that and then this is a no eyeshadow look but I'm gonna take this brush that has like bronzer on it and just hit like up here to create a little shadow but like not too much see what that did kind of just like snatches your eye Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic. Wait, guys, when did I lose a nail? At what point did this come flying off? Okay, setting again. I need to finish my hair, but I don't have an adapter. Okay, now for lip liner. I'm gonna go in with Whirl by MAC. If you don't have Whirl in your makeup kit, you literally need it. It is so good. It also mixes really well with a lot of different colors. I really just wanna be creating a shadow around my lips. And I'm gonna do a little line. And then I'm gonna go over with the lip stain again. And then another lip stain, but this a little different. I also feel like this acts like a gloss and is a bit thicker. Now, last step is adding more blush. I'm gonna use this Dior Coral again. And then Pat McGrath Labs sent me their new blush highlighter, Divine Blush. Legendary Glow Color Bomb in Peach Lotus. I'm gonna use a little bit of this over it so pretty I love this brand of makeup hey okay, guys here you have it I'm gonna go get dressed now and I do need to finish my hair I need to blow dry this part out smooth it out a little bit and then I need to get my products plugged in so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get dressed okay wait before I get dressed i want to show you guys what i've been using recently on my hair it is the color wow root cover-up my hair is pretty blonde right now i just got it highlighted but i feel like it just like really brightens up around your face just i just like do some of my little baby hairs and it just literally always makes it look like you got fresh highlights okay so this is the first dress option i really like it but I'm gonna try on one more outfit. It's like a little more casual, um, but yes. And I'm wearing my new Chanel loafers, which were a gift. I am obsessed with them. I'm gonna put on some perfume and then run out. But I don't like this so much.
Thank you.